Hey guys, it's Ali again. And I actually got a question on what are the different methods in which you can determine the value of a property, let's say an apartment building, after you've increased rents? Great question. Not an exact science, but there's different methods and I want to share some with you. So the first is the GRM or the gross rent multiplier. And it's exactly what it sounds like. So let's say your gross rent is $50,000 for that on an annual basis for that apartment building. And let's say the GRM, which is a multiplier, it's just a number in the market, and it's 10 in that market. Well, if you multiply 10 by 50,000, you get $500,000. That's the value of that apartment building, let's say it's a duplex or a triplex or whatever. But now I just increased my rent to $60,000. I increased it by $10,000. My GRM, which is 10, it's in the market, it's a static number, it's still the same. And when I say static number, it's static to, an, to a certain extent. I mean, it'll fluctuate maybe, you know, every one to three years, right? But it's, it's generally static. So now I've increased my rent to 60,000, my GRM is 10, now my new value for that property is 600,000. So what have I done? By increasing my rent just $10,000, which is not unreasonable over a 12 month basis, I've increased $100,000 on my property. That's why people, land, you know, uh, landlords want to increase rent all the time because they know that that GRM is a really important number. Okay? The second is commercial appraisals. So it's not just a residential appraisal, but a commercial appraiser will go in and look at different factors to value your value of your property after you've increased rent. And how are they gonna do that? They're gonna look at GRM, which is what we just talked about. Then they'll look at cap rate, which again, it stands for capitalization rate, but the cap rate, and you can write this down, is your net operating income over your total purchase price. So what that means is it's basically a rate of return on your money. And if is the higher the cap rate, the higher the valuation of that property. Okay. I can spend a lot of time talking about cap rates. In fact, I think I did talk about it, but that's just another way in which appraisers will value that property. Then they'll look at comps. You know what comps are. They'll look at comps like comps sold in the area within a two to three mile radius. Right. And then other factors and other factors where that comes into play is how unique is that property? What's distinct and special about that property that may drive a higher valuation than other properties? So they're gonna put all of this in a blender and they're gonna spit out a value of what that property is after you've increased rent. And then finally, BPO or a broker's price opinion. Gotta love the English language, it's not arbitrarily constructed. It's exactly what it means. It's an opinion on the price from brokers completely subjective and brokers will come in and say, look, we have pulled all this data and this is what we think the value of your apartment building is after you've increased rents. At the end of the day though, I'll tell you this, what's the true value? It's whatever a cash buyer is willing to pay. <laughs> okay. I mean, we could do all this, this science and, and all this art, but at the end of the day is what is a buyer willing to pay for your property? That's what the true value is. Thanks.